Pastor Russ here with Hope for today. It's Middle School Girls Volleyball Camp Week here at New Hope, and I'm super excited. For the first time ever, we're offering a morning and afternoon camp to 75 girls who will be attending this week. It's a great chance not only to help these young girls improve in their volleyball skills, but more importantly, to learn something about Jesus Christ and how much he loves them and what he has done for them, just as he's done for us. So I ask you to please be praying for the camp and for these girls this week. You know, the Bible talks in many places about athletics, about sports, and he uses that in a spiritual way to help us learn spiritual lessons. I want to share with you a verse of scripture found in Hebrews chapter 12, beginning in verse 1. The writer says this, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily hinders our progress, and let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. That's a really neat passage because it references that an athlete sometimes will wear these things. <laughs> it's a training weight. These are actually wore around the, uh, the legs of an athlete trying to build up strength or endurance in their muscles, in their legs. But an athlete would never ever consider wearing the leg weights in an actual race itself. There's no way they could compete. They would lose every time if they tried to wear a leg weight. But the analogy that he uses spiritual is this. So often as we run the race of life in following after Jesus Christ, we have some spiritual leg weights on. They're referred to as potentially sin according to the writer of Hebrews. And that sin in our lives can slow us down from fully running the race Christ has in store for us. So I wanna ask you today to make it to some time to consider, are there any spiritual leg weights that you're hauling around that is hindering you today from living out your relationship with Jesus Christ to its fullness and allowing him not only to work in your life, but to work through your life to touch others as well. If there are any leg weights holding you down, I want to encourage you to do as the writer of Hebrews said, let's toss them aside, get rid of them so we can run that race in honoring God.